Hello there people, this is Christian. Welcome back to my computer this Sunday morning and Fusion 360 and a new Dota Cathedral video. This is uh, one of workflows. I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you two workflows. I have previous videos on this where I use no math or I use geometry that's part of math but math with no numbers. There's only one number that I mentioned. In this case we're going to use a bit more math and we're going to do have a look at a slightly different way of doing this. This is from a Facebook question and that's what drives the second workflow. The desire was to put a design on each face and the same design on all faces. I just did three simple circle extrudes and that is on all faces but I've only done it in one face and then use patterns to move it around stuff like that. we're gonna have a look at that uh, because boring thing is you first do the Dolce Gahina and then do the pattern on one face when you have to do you can do mirrors and uh, you can do circular pattern. you can work it around but this is a bit easier in my opinion this is only my opinion so I have a new design here I've already saved it so I activated the auto save functions I'm going to create a component just to keep things uh, in place I should mention there's one more design and then to go back to our model if I activate the origin point you can see the origin point is at the center of the mass or center of the dotted Eden. so that's one of the design intents I have so we're going to start by creating a sketch this is going to be our dimension sketch watch my previous video I do a more advanced when I advanced a more elaborate workflow I have cleaned up the workflow a bit uh, reduced the sketches so there are less lines and they are more stable step one we're going to start by creating a pentagon so we're going to use a polygon tab over five sides and i forgot to change the line style i'm going to mark it and turn it into construction this here uh, i'm going to work on the left side you can you can, you can flip this sketch other way around for do that but i'm going to simply use a, a vertical constraint here i'm going to do some line l on the keyboard turn on construction lines i'm going to start here i'm going to go straight down i'm going to go over I'm going to go up and now I want to find this point here. So I'm going to do like this. Give me some helplines and into the center point. And the last thing is from this here straight down perpendicular here. So what we need to do now, we need to start adding some constraints. And number one, I'm going to do, I'm going to do midpoint constraint between this line and the region point. This line here is the center line of a dotted hedron that goes from face to face. So by, uh, constraining it with midpoint it would always stay around the center of mass the second midpoint going to do are between these two line here the vertical line and this short line here these are going to midpoint and we're going to do an equal constraint between uh, any of these lines we can be these two or we have three vertical lines and one long horizontal line any of these two how to pick these two so this becomes a square shape so by doing that i'm going to hit escape to turn off the constraints I have a sketch that I like to call is, call is scalable. I can scale it up and down because it has no dimension. So this is sketch with these lines and bit confusing constraints gives me the possibility to dimension the dotted hidden in any way I want. D on the keyboard, simply, I can do this here and say it's 50 millimeters. That is going to be, let's open up our sketch browser, fully defined sketch. This means it's going to be 50 millimeter from flat face to flat face. Let's look at the model here. So that means looking at it like this. The dimension from flat face up here to flat face down here. Why do I only have perspective? So like that, it's a bit easier to see. So it's going to be dimension from this face to uh, this face. Very simple. By the way, of course, we can delete the rest dimension and add a dimension. We can do the edge length. This is the edge of any part of the dotted hidden. We can do that 30 millimeters. Uh, for some reason, you might want to dimension the face. Uh, if we want to put some design on the face, you know the size of the design, you might want to make the face 50 millimeters. And you can see sometimes the sketch doesn't get fully constrained because fusing gets a bit confused here we have a dimension that is not really connected to anything on the you can see i can't, I can't move things around sometimes you can help fusion let's see if this works i do a line from one unknown point to a known point and you can see fusion fully defines the sketch i'm going to delete that once again if you sometimes get this confusing thing where it doesn't really show it's fully defined it's the sketch solver having some small problems sometimes it defines it later 
but gonna leave that the last way of putting a dimension is from vertex to vertex look at mono from corner here to the opposite corner here through the center point of uh, the location and we can do that we need one more line line of the keyboard construction line from this is one we want end up like one of the vertex so we're going to do here we know it's going to go down to this line and we're going to do a midpoint constraint between uh, this center axis and this here so we basically going to get two center axis this is the center axis of two faces this is the center axis of two vertexes and now we can dimension this line here if it flips around too much right click and select aligned and we can do it 100 so by doing all this confusion dimensioning in this case we dimension it by uh, the distance from vertex to vertex so let's delete all of this and simply do it uh, the height like that on flat face i'm going to 50 millimeters and we're going to finish sketch and just to help myself uh dimension sketch so i can know that's the sketch that's driving all the dimensions which by simply can right click and say show dimensions that means i can play around and change the dimensions later uh, i'm gonna hide the sketch dimension for now so the first workflow is going to be extrude and then we extrude i don't need to create any more sketch planes i'm going to simply create a sketch do it from the top create a polygon once again so in this case i know i want to constrain to the origin point here so i'm simply going to click on that drag it out tab over say five sides we once again want the pentagon and now we hit p for project oh sorry not cons not offset project on a project in this here this is the vertex corner I'm gonna hit okay so we're gonna do a coincident between a corner and here and we have end everything uh, fully defined we're gonna finish so i'm gonna rename this uh profile like that so i know what i've done so now we're going to do the extrude this is the short workflow so i'm going to do e for extrude I'm going to set not profile plane. I'm going to do from object, select the, I can do it from top or the bottom. I'm going to do from the bottom. So I'm going to select the bottom point down here. The distance is going to be two object, the point up here. And of course, this is just a simple pentagon uh, pillar. And we don't want that. We want it to have a taper angle. And this, you can find the angle online or so, but I like to use the mathematical expression, which is a sine or arc sine parenthesis one divided by uh, what comes now is square root of five because the pentagon is uh, largely filled with golden ratio stuff uh, the dodo is filled with dodo, uh, golden ratio stuff and the gold ratio you often find somewhere find the square root of five in the equation so a sine of one divided by the square root of five I'm gonna hit okay and now we have our little body here so this is half of a dodecahedron it's going to s on the keyboard get find our circular pattern select circular pattern of bodies yes this body and what axis this needs some looking around i'm going to turn on our origin here so we can see we need the origin axis you can have a look here you have a red axis here that's the x-axis and that is aligned with the edge of the body so we do not want to use that one we want to use the green y-axis over here let's see if we can find it like that and we should change the quantity to two normally when you pop in you get three and it's a bit confusing so drop it down to two instances click ok you can use the combine tool select the two bodies and switch over to intersect and click OK. And by doing this, we have one single body. I'm going to hide the region. And we can inspect and see if we've done things correctly. This is our sketch phase. And this is the result of the combine of different bodies. And we can see, you can even add some more, uh, dim uh, they call it digits to the dimensions. So ARS 867, a lot of digits, 867, and they are the same fusion is good enough to calculate this area very nicely so this is how i basically would do a simple dodecahedron but the question was i want to put design on one of these faces and then have that on all rest of the faces we can do that here use a vis and creating like mid planes and mirror and move it around that's one possibility but we can do this slightly different 
I'm going to go back in workflow now and delete everything except uh, the first sketch. Our dimension sketch will still be remain because it drives the same way. We're going to use loft and for loft we need to create profile and the profile is going to be one of the face of a dodecahedron. So we need an offset plane. Select uh, or our own planes here. Distance to object up here. Click OK. And we now have, I'm going to hide the mask again. Now we now have a plane where the top face of our dodecahedron should be. We can create a sketch up here. We can create a polygon once again. You might recognize some of the steps here. We tab over, do five sides. We want a pentagon. We're going to hit P for project. Project in this line here, like previous. Coincident between a corner and here. Going to finish sketch. And now I'm going to use the loft tool. You find it among the solid tools from here down to the center point down here. Going to hit OK. So what we have created now, going to once again rename this uh, loft profile like that and we can even rename our uh, plane that's our loft plane so we know what, what things are uh gonna hide the sketches for now we don't need those two so what i created here a 1 12th of a dodecahedron so what i can do now i can add the design to the face here so i'm going to create a sketch you might import some design or something I'm simply going to put some text. Can we do some text? We can do some text. Uh, hello. Uh, going to do it five millimeters. Going to do the ball. We're going to center it in all directions. Area around the empty ball. Like that. Going to do a line through this text box. Going to tell Fusion that this is horizontal. No, sorry. Horizontal vertical on that line. These two are equal. We do a midpoint constraint between this line to the midpoint here. I'm going to mention this to be like uh, 50, so it's larger than the face here. This keeps the text centered on the face of the pentagon. Finish sketch. E for extrude. Select a little text. Minus one millimeter, so it cuts down. Could of course do the other way around. Can hide the sketch. You can see we have a little hello on the face here. So what we're going to do now? We now need to get create the rest of the faces. S on the keyboard and circular pattern. Circular pattern is really powerful. Bodies, the body we just created. Axis. In this case, we do not have want to use any more region axis. We're going to use the edge of a body over here. And in this case, uh, around each vertex of the hidden, you have three faces. So we change the quantity to three. But I do not want to make all of them. I'm going to do suppression and turn one one of them. I couldn't make this because I don't want to do overpopulate the body with too many bodies. It can confuse the combine at the end. So we have this here now. Now I want to spread it around. So once again, circular pattern. This body around. Let's find the center axis in here. In this case, we're going to do five. We have this nice little shape now. You start recognizing things now. S, circular pattern once again. Bodies in this case. Let's see if we can select all of them, all the bodies. Then the axis, we need to turn on our region here so we can see. Once again, the red one here is pointing at an edge. That's the wrong one. See, we want the green one with yellow in this case. Can we select it? We could and it does too many no 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 slow down fusion i only need two of those you're gonna hit okay gonna select all our bodies we can select it out in the browser in a way we want could do combine fusion gonna be a bit confused because we used intersect earlier so we're gonna change that to join and gonna hit okay let fusion do some thinking turn off written and we have one solid dot go here and move to the same design on all faces uh in an easy way so with that said i hope you found something in this video that's useful for you and with that said see you around take care and goodbye